Hey guys, this is Vimeo91, and I'm talking about the, the PS5. Why? Because I was watching our GT85's video, and apparently the PS5 may be selling for about $4.99. Because I was watching our GT85's video. What our GT85 was basically saying, and, what, and I agree, that it seems like Sony probably can't afford to sell it at such a loss this time like they have in the past. Like, remember with the PS3 when they sold it for, I think, $100 less than they were actually cost to make his PS3? But let's face it, Sony's gaming division, as RGT85 pointed out, is like their main division in their company that is making a lot of money. So I kind of agree with them that they probably can't afford as much to take such a loss like some companies may. And now with Microsoft, I think because their console has a more powerful GPU seemingly and more space in the hard drive, they may be selling it at a loss and that may be $4.99 as well. So if both consoles are $4.99, then they're basically on even playing field and it's gonna come down, exclusives are gonna be more th important than ever next generation because we all most likely know that crossplay will be a thing for every single third party game. Let's just face it, I mean, basically every single third party game is gonna have crossplay or get left in the weeds. So if any third party game doesn't have crossplay, a lot of people I think will just not buy it because they're like, well, why would I buy a game where I can't play with my friends and other systems? So exclusives are gonna be more important than ever. And we know the PS4 really has the dominance on that. But here's the thing, Microsoft spent a lot of money, I believe, buying a lot of other studios. So I think those other studios may be almost solely for the purpose of making exclusives with Microsoft, or mostly at least. So I wouldn't count Microsoft out just yet. We gotta see, perhaps they've been preparing for next generation. Imagine if they bought all those other studios simply to be like, okay, make exclusive games for us for our next generation console. like. Not for the Xbox One, even though it may come out for the Xbox One as well, but basically more so for their next generation of consoles. But what do you guys think about this? If the PS5 and the Xbox Series X both sold for about $4.99, which one would you guys buy and why? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and God bless you all.